Welcome to the GMG Info. This is a channel all about creating terrain and miniatures for your role-playing games. And this video is about putting a pig on a spit. That's right. Your days are numbered, piggy. <laughs> Be forewarned that this is not for kiddies. There are some disgusting features of this video that are probably not best for the younger folk. You know, anybody under the age of 40. All right, let's get this ready. So I've got a bag full of farm animals I've just collected over the years of finding plastic fo what? Uh, well, Terminators. And uh, yeah, yeah, just, uh, just goats and pigs and horses. We don't want to put a horse on a spit, so we're just going to grab a pig. And uh, yeah, you can just basically pick those up whenever you see anything real cheap at a store like these bugs, you know, these always coming out. You can do a roasting a bug, a giant bug that could be like a gobbo campsite or ooh, praying mantis. Ooh, a ladybug. Oh, <laughs> big, mm, delicious. Anyway, we're going to stick with pig. Let's be traditional. And of course, uh, we're going to have to uh, clean up some of the mold lines so you can use... Any old thing that's sharp to clean up the mold lines. Oh, we may have some other ideas later on. And I'm just going to make his mouth open as well. So we're going to stick with a craft knife and get his little mouth opening. Sweet. So now what do we do? Okay, so now we're going to grab some paddle pop sticks. Also called lollipop sticks. Depends on where you are in the world. I'll just get two of these. I don't, come on. Oh, you son of a... Get out of there. Ah, right. Two of those, and we'll just hold onto this cardboard for later. All right, just to find out how long this is gonna be. Mark it with a 2B pencil. Uh, oh, that's a bit wonky. That's a bit. Ew. All right. Okay, flip it over. Get a ruler this time. Get a ruler. Come on. Get a ruler. Stick it to there. All right. Mark the lines, and of course. Now we're going to cut using, don't be ridiculous, we're going to use the scissors. Why would I use the craft knife? Anyway, way back in there as normally, and then you just cut. See, it's nice and simple, and nothing bad ever happens. All right, just lop off that piece. All right, see, they're not magical. It's all part of the plan. Right, see, the other one went nice and quick. I think it was because it was harder. But anyway, here we have a compass has a nice sharp metal point and we use that to widgle around a hole that is the official scientific term widgling and i'm just going to poke in there and widgle it around flip it over and widgle so you've got a bigger and bigger hole but uh, that's not going to be 100 percent good enough so we're going to go one step further and we're going to get this v i mean this is, uh, it's a uh, an engraving tool that's what it is we've seen this before it's got an engraving nib and uh, we're just going to buzz into that wheedling hole we've created and smooth it out and make it nice and nice and comfy for the pole we're going to stick through there. Of course, do that with the other one as well. Special wheedling. Use the buzzer. Get that buzzer going. Buzz it. Bzz, 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 bzz. It does take a little bit longer than shown here, but of course it's cheaper than going out and buying mini drill bits and things. Of course you can also use it to get rid of mold lines on pigs. Now, our buddy over from Quasi's Bell Tower sent us these uh, uh, arrow things. And these are really cool. I could use this for the spit, but I'm going to use it for some sort of other project later on. So we'll put those aside and we're going to use toothpicks instead. So, um, yeah, one of these has got these f fancy things on the end. Don't need to use fancy ones. You can flatten them if you wish. See, fits nice and snugly through the hole. Dry fitting it there. It's all good. So, here is where we're going to start to insert things into pigs. And this is where the kids need to close their eyes and be sent to bed. Because things are going to get horrible from right here on. Peter is going to have a field day. Uh, Look away, it's going in. 
Oh, God, what are you doing? Oh, that's not how you use a compass. Anyway, you could use a craft knife. This is where it's getting... Oh, God. And so you're making a bit of a hole and a mess there. And it... Oh, more of the... Oh, what are you doing? You're trying to pull the pinnons up. God, jeez. Oh. All right, do with a mouth as well, just to... Oh, God. Then a little bit of hot glue, and uh, it can suckle on the edge of a hot glue gun, and then just push in the... Uh, we'll do that off camera. It's a little bit too much. Anyway, you can see what happens there. We grab this little fire pit we've made in a previous video, and we'll see where we're going to lay it. And we're going to place some hot glue on the thing and on the base of the spit. Uh, what do you call them? Arms? No. Stands? That's it. Spit stands. And there you go. <laughs> nice and easy. Now, of course, it's not finished yet. We've got to paint this thing. And we're going to add the little handle. So we grab a little piece of one of the toothpicks. And cut off a little end. Dab a hot glue on the end of this rotisserie pole and uh, just hot glue it on there. And then we're going to go on to painting. So standard craft paint, so just paint the pig red, full on red. Then just put a little bit of brown, no, cover it, cover it about 70% with brown where the heat would hit it. And then, you know, cover the brown on the actual stands and the, the rotisserie pole. And then a little bit of black for some char got to have some char then we just use a little bit of white to dry brush the wood but now we're going to give it some glisten because it wouldn't be a pork on spit without some glisten and that we're going to use some clear nail polish You've seen this being used before on this channel clear nail polish will remain nice and glossy i'll just use a little bit of boots of speed to get this on here real quick but i'm starting to get a little bit hungry <laughs> yummy give me some of them ribs and here we go. Here's a bit of a kitchen scene with the pork roasting over the spit. That's a nice and easy lemon squeezy, and I apologize for all the dirty jokes. So there you have it. <laughs> a juicy pig on a spit. That's it. Mmm, I can smell it cooking right now. Of course, if you like these videos, like button. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. And of course, if you'd like to financially support the making of the channel, you can purchase products on the dmg.info forward slash store. If you like my artwork like you see on the wall over here, you can go to redbubble.com forward slash people forward slash the DMG info. And you can purchase all manner of things like these beautiful full throw pillows. I love this. I'm a sucker for throw pillows. Anyway. Don't forget to check out the other members of the Tabletop Crafters Guild. You can check out tabletopcraftersguild.com. And I will see you in the next video where we'll be creating all kinds of crazy stuff from cheap plastic and other junk found around the house and at the dollar store. Here is a video that I recently put out. And down there is a video that YouTube recommends. Of course, you can subscribe to this channel up here or have a look at one of my other channels to complete your experience of the DMG universe. It's a bit of a crazy, crazy place. But anyway, that's enough of me. How about you? You should be clicking on one of these four things.